Hey everyone, this is Serena with Serena Fit and I have the awesome opportunity to be meeting with Cheyenne Gill today in her amazing studio. It looks like picturesque anthropology <laughs> meets free people in here. Um, she is a boudoir photographer and a um, body positive advocate. So that's something that we, uh, as women, I think, especially being in the industry, fitness industry, um, it's a touch and go topic. It's a little touchy. It's kind of like we want to talk about it. Um, but at the same time, it's a little, um, you know, could hit some chords that you don't know how you're like, what's going to come back to you. So, um, how long have you been in business? How long have you been doing this amazing, um, kind of mission here that you're on? I have been a photographer for 10 years, but okay. I've been doing, uh, I've been specializing in boudoir and, um, kind of preaching body love and self love for, for about five years now. Awesome. Yeah. That's so, amazing. Yeah. So do you feel like it's kind of catching on quickly, um, like for what you're put out so far? Yeah. Are you I getting mean, like a really positive response back? Oh, without a doubt. Yeah. Um, I mean, the self-love movement right now is so huge mm -hmm, and it's mm -hmm. like blowing up, which is so rad and yeah. I'm so happy to be a part of it. Um, but, you know, sharing my own story has helped so many women open up and, right. um, and that's enough for me. That's, that's amazing awesome. to me. Yeah. So if I were to contact you and I was a client coming through, like what, take me through like maybe what the first few steps would be. Like, what are you going to say to me when I come through? Cause I, I know personally that whole concept is just freaks me out and yeah. I want to like have a glass of wine or like maybe not be here at all or just like <laughs> run out the door. Like what happens? How do you get women to just feel amazing and kind of come off the ledge when they come into the space? Um, well, when they get here, they're always nervous, and I tell them, um, and first of all, when they email me, they tell me yeah. um, how scared they are, and that they're just, they they just wanted to go for it, but they're terrified, et cetera, et cetera, um, and I tell them the same thing every time. First of all, um, it is not scary. You'll be scared for two minutes, trust me, right, right, okay. every single time, uh -huh. um, and I have worked with all different types of women, I mean, okay. anyone you can think of, um, but every single time they get in front of my lens, they are nervous for a second, but I walk them through everything. I okay. walk them through every pose. I'm talking the whole time. My mouth is not shut. Good. We're dancing to Beyonce. <laughs> We're having fun. That's and, awesome. um, you know, in five minutes, every, you're not even thinking, you're about, not it. thinking about it. And literally everyone's like, oh, that wasn't scary at all. And I'm like, I know. Right. It's just like getting over that hurdle. Yeah. And I, I also have kind of this no bull crap policy where um, in my studio, you know, it's a very positive environment. If you start saying, oh, I look, my rolls are showing or I'm fat or whatever, yeah. I just shut it down shut and it down. tell them, stop. We're that's not doing really, that. really powerful. It's, it, I think that's kind of like the, it's almost like um, an open conversation, like what we have, maybe a lot of women have in their own minds, like mm -hmm. at home, mm -hmm. you know, and oh, you're yeah. just there like cutting it. So we're just oh, I'm, like, I shut it down. All right. There's that negative self talk. Yep. It's like, it can't live here. Exactly. So that's really, yeah. that's a really big concept, especially on my end of things, being um, a personal trainer, fitness yeah. coach, women's coach, so many things come out during session. And a lot of it is around of course, sure. what they see in the mirror and what they're thinking, um, you know, on a daily basis about themselves and how they look. There's so much pressure every day, all day, and not only that, every but, yeah. And we're conditioned to kind yeah. of, if I want to give you a compliment, I'll say, oh, I love your eyes. Oh, I hate my eyes or whatever. And oh, right, right, there's right. There's just this, so you know, true. we're just conditioned to do that when it's just so unnecessary. It's but, so true. Yeah. I remember I wrote a blog post not too long ago, probably about a year ago, actually, mm -hmm. um, about saying sorry, yep. you know, when mm -hmm. even like when you're like shopping, you know, and someone comes by and they're like, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, like, yeah. rather than just being like, oh, pardon me. Excuse me. Like, yeah. excuse me. Mm -hmm. And I think that, like you just said, reflecting back saying, sorry, oh, my fault on me. Like, well, like, okay, sometimes it is, but really it's just like that quick condition yeah, reaction exactly. where you're just like, it's like a negative, exactly. a very negative thing. So we need people like you constantly reminding it and just not letting it live, you oh, know? Yep. And it can, it can become you know, a spiral effect oh, when yeah. you're alone mm -hmm. and then that's, it just gets, it gets really tough. So outside of being a photographer, what does this whole, you know, you created body love tribe. Is mm -hmm. that right? Body yep. love tribe. What does that mean to you? What is, what is being a beautiful, um, positively omitting woman mean to you outside of the studio and away from the camera? I mean, it, um, it's definitely a lifestyle. I mean, I, you know, I bring what I preach into my everyday life. Um, like many of us, you know, our issues are passed down from our mothers, um, whether on purpose or not, you know, my sure, mom sure. was hating on herself. She mm -hmm. always told me how beautiful I was, but me watching her 
made me feel a certain way towards myself. So right. um, for me, you know, I am constantly um, with my girlfriends and my mom, my aunts, um, even my brother. Has, yeah. is, you know, like yeah. I'm constantly, um, you know, building people up. And okay. um, for so me, when it, yeah, so when it comes back to you, though, like what are you saying to yourself? Oh, for me, I mean, I, you know, it's a journey. Don't get me wrong. I have my days, yeah. as everyone does. And right. um, it's a never ending journey. But I can honestly say that um, the moment I decided to stop talking badly about myself to myself and to others, my life changed. Um, wow. I am happy. Like, happy. I was a very miserable uh, teenager and young adult, I guess. Sure, sure. <laughs> and now As I'm, many I'm, Yeah, of course. And, um, you know, my body was on my mind 24 7. I was thinking, sure. oh, um, if I sit like this, this is going to show where people are looking at this. And I was always sitting like this. And it's like really. It's exhausting. It's exhausting. It's, it's a prison. It's, it's a is. prison. You're in it your is. own little cage, and it's it's horrible. Um, so when you free yourself from that, and for me, this was true, um, and I right. was very, very sick um, when I was younger. Um, I didn't have eating disorders or anything, but in my mind, um, I was depressed and, and riddled with anxiety and constantly worried about what people were thinking of me. Um, I was rude. I was, you know, yep. I was yep. just miserable. Yeah. Um, and I, I just... You just cut it. I cut it out. <laughs> and now Completely. It's, there's just more of, I'm sure, like a control. Oh, yeah. It's like a management, yeah. like yes. a, an emotional management kind of strategy exactly. you've implemented. Exactly. So that's amazing. Guys, thank you so much for watching. There's This is prob this probably could be a, like a podcast, like a full-on <laughs> like seven-episode podcast here. But um, Cheyenne Gill is doing something huge. Follow her on Facebook. I know you're selective and like who you're connecting well, with. But yeah, but Facebook. Um, hashtag Body Love Tribe. Hashla it's hashtag Body Love Tribe. Awesome. Yep. Um, Instagram, it's just Cheyenne Gill, um, at Cheyenne Gill. And um, I'm primarily on Instagram and okay. my okay. personal Facebook, which you can. So if you're yeah. thinking about doing something fun and sexy or flirty for yourself um, or for someone else. For your partner, yeah. Yep. Um, definitely contact her. Come through. Uh, we're in Fishtown today. We're in Fishtown. Okay. Yep. Um, Yep, exactly. And it's, the again, the down. studio is insane. Like, just come <laughs> here to, for the studio. <laughs> um, no, it's it's for everything. But uh, you can check me out anywhere, serenafit.com. I, again, am on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest. Um, and, yeah, so thanks for tuning in. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.